Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about one example based on minimax algorithm. Okay. So in the previous lectures, we have discussed about what is adversarial search is and what is minimax algorithm is. And how does it work? Right. And now in this lecture, we will going to discuss about one example based on minimax algorithm. Okay. So okay. So consider this example. It's a two-player example, minimax game. Okay. One move for each player. So each player can have uh, so each player can take only one move okay and how this minimax algorithm work there are two player max and mean right so max player will always try to maximize its score and mean player will always try to minimize its score minimize the score of maximum right so this is basically minimize score of maximum now this is the current state of a game given to us now currently max player is Okay, so now the max player has a uh, next turn. Okay, after that, mean player will do the next turn. Right now, so what max player will do? So, max player can take three possible action here a1, a2, a3. Right, so max player can take three possible action here. Okay, same example like tic tac toe example. Suppose uh, this is example, right? Okay, and this is the state, right? So, there are one, two, three, and a chance of x, right? Now, which one to select? Whether we have to select this particular slot or this or this, right? So, this, right. So here we have three actions to perform, right? So at any point of a particular uh, game, we have three actions to perform. For example, then which action should I perform? Then which action should this max player will perform, right? So that's what we have to see. So he can, so he can perform three actions: a one, a two, a three. But which one is best? Okay. Now suppose Max has performed A1 action, right? And it will leads to a new state. That's what we have discussed in the previous lecture. Now the next turn will be of mean player. Now mean player is also has the three chances here: A11, A12, A13. Now what mean player will do? Okay. So this is the terminal score given to us. That is a that is a utility score of each terminal uh, state. Okay. So 3, 12, 8. So so these are all terminal state. Terminal state means goal state or ending state. And this is the utility value of each terminal state given to us. Right. So if currently mean is at this particular point and if we place this A11 action, then the chances of winning, uh, then the max score will be 3. Then if it plays A12, the score will be 12. Right. Like this. So depending upon the which action that mean will take, we will get a particular score. Right. Now out of this three, okay, so this is a terminal state, right? So we are going to at a particular depth and then we are backtracking, okay, here, same thing we are doing here also, right? So at this particular point, because the previous move before the terminal move, before the terminal state is by mean player, right? Then which action that mean player will take? So obviously, which one gives us the minimum score, right? So out of A11, A12, A13. Whichever will get the minimum score, that action, that particular action, mean player will perform, right? Say for example, in this case, 3, 12, and 8. So, which one is minimum? A11 path, right? That is 3. So, the value of uh, mean player at this particular point is 3. The score of mean player at this particular point is 3 because it will always try to minimize the value of max player, right? Okay, so value of mean player at this particular point is 3. Now, what if the max player plays this particular action A2, right? Now, in this case, the mean score will be 2, right? Because mean can take 3 actions from this particular point and out of these 3 actions, it will try to minimize the score, right? So, basically, it will it will take A21, this one, right? So, at this particular point, the value of mean is 2. Now, what if max has uh, taken this particular action, A3? At this point, the value of mean is 2 because from this particular point, uh, mean can play Mean can uh, perform three actions a31, a32, a33, but which one is the lowest value? 2, right? So th that's why the value of this particular point is 2. Now, if max will perform this action a1, the value of mean will be 3. If max will perform uh, this particular action, the value of mean will be 2. If max will perform this action, the value of mean will be true, right? So max player has this particular idea. Now, out of this 3, 3, 2, and 2, which one is having maximum value? That is 3. This is 3, right? So that's why max player will take this particular action a1 and from a1 he will go to he will perform the action a1 and at this particular point what mean player will do mean player will uh, what mean player will do mean will try to minimize the score so he will select this particular action a11 so that's how the 
value of this particular max is 3. So the max final score for this particular state of a game is 3. Right? This type of question you can expect in your exam. So what will the value of max final score? What will the value of mean final score? Okay. So all these things, right? So I so I hope you understand this particular example. Right? Same example. Uh, so A1 action will be taken by max, and after that, mean will take the A11 action, right? So in, in this way, so max maximum score is max final score will be 3. Right. Now suppose instead of max, first turn is of mean player, right? This is max player. Now what will happen? Instead of mean, uh, instead of max, it is mean player now. Right. Now same mean can have three actions, one A1, A2, A3, right? And max can have uh, these three actions at this particular point, this, right? A11, A12, A13. So what max will do? Max will try to maximize his chances, right? So out of this three particular terminal state, and if, so which one is having the maximum utility value? This A12, right? So value of this particular point will be 12. Because max will select the maximum uh, utility value, right? Suppose mean play this particular action A2. So at this point, max player will take the maximum. So which one is having maximum? 6, right? So at this particular point, so value of max will be 6. This is max. Similarly, if mean uh, has taken this A3 action, then the next action will be by max player. Now what max will do? It will try to maximize his chances, right? Then in this case, then in that case, he will take A1, A3 one action. That is value will be 14, right? So now mean knows if I take this action A1, the value of max will be 12. If I take this particular action A2, value of max will be 6. If I take this particular action A3, the value of max will be 14. So what mean will do? Mean will try to minimize the value of max function, right? Mean will try to minimize the value of max max function. Mean will try to minimize the value of max function. So in this case, which value it will take? 12, 6 or 14, 6 basically. Right? The lowest of all. Okay, so in this case, the final value of means player will be 6. Okay, because if we just change the uh, turn of a particular player. Okay, I hope you understand this particular concept and how mean max algorithm works. So, this is a simple example. I uh, will discuss more example in the tutorial part, but I hope you understand the concept. Okay, so that's it from this particular example. Uh, nothing much to discuss, but you should know the concept and how to uh, solve this particular problem. Okay, thank you.